What to Play presents the top 15 Wii U platformer games. This ranking is based on a 1 to 10 scoring system that aggregates critic and gamer reviews into a unique score called the Play Score. As much as new reviews show up and are added, the Play Score changes. At number 15 is Stealth Incorporated 2, a game of clones. This game is a very good example of trial and error gameplay, and every gadget that you acquire always seems very useful and worthwhile. Stealth Incorporated 2 meshes smart puzzling with smart weaponry, and that gives it a very good overall platforming value. Unique atmosphere, twisted humor, and a very challenging game if you let it become one. A play score of 8.27. Fourteenth is Nintendo Land. This is more than just a platformer. It's a party game. Nintendo Land is a label used to introduce the many features and capabilities of the then-new Wii U console, and it excelled doing so. Fun set of minigames, great for parties and friends to play with, and the ability to upgrade or design your own little world. Nintendo Land gets a play score of 8.31. Rank number 13 is Captain Toad. Treasure Tracker. This may not be your typical platformer, but it's so much fun. It's a platforming game where you can't jump, which I know is odd for the genre. Treasure Tracker's clever use of the map, objects, and puzzles dissipate this notion. Plus, the camera control plays a very big role in the game. Limited but clever mobility, great diorama design levels, and very memorable unique gameplay. A play score of 8.36. At number 12 is Pit Trip Presents Runner 2. This game is a special kind of platformer. It mixes platforming and music perfectly. Jump, slide, and run. Three simple controls that when paired with perfectly timed obstacles, a vibrant setting, fluid animations, and beautiful music, it will surely ensnare you. Charming game design, no loading times, and accessible to new players and challenging to veterans all at the same time. A play score of 8.38. 11th place is New Super Mario Bros. U. Super Mario games have mostly been great. To be honest, this fell short. Compared to modern platformers like Rayman Legends, the New Super Mario Bros. U felt like it could have been more than just the basic HD version of Super Mario gameplay. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good game. With its recognizable gameplay, smooth textures, and tons of additional content, it gets a play score of 8.45. Rank number 10 is Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. When playing Guacamelee, you easily get lost in its silliness, brilliant cartoon style action, and those awesome luchador masks. Flashy combat, good dialogue, and lovable characters. This game is heavily influenced by Metroidvania gameplay, and quite honestly is one of the better ones out there. Probably the only gripe I and many others have on this game is its length. It's too damn short. Guacamelee STC Edition gets a play score of 8.45. Ninth is Child of Light. There is so much beauty in this game that you sometimes like to pause the game, watch the scenery, and frame it. Every bit of it is artful. The combat system of Child of Light becomes great. It's straightforward, refined, and does away with a lot of unnecessary battle features found in similar titles. With a Disney-like story, rhyming dialogue, gorgeous setting, and smooth animations, this game is solid. A play score of 8.45. Number 8 is Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze tries its very best to employ something new to the genre, and with that comes the ability to tag along a second Kong with you in your adventures. Each having their own unique abilities, it gives the game a breath of fresh air. Fun to experiment, exciting boss battles, great vehicle sections, but somehow lacks in difficulty, it gets a play score of 8.51. Seventh place is Yoshi's Woolly World, probably the most kid-friendly game in this list. Bright visuals, cute cotton-like design, jumpy music, and a lovable dinosaur character. What's cool about this game is that you could approach it two ways. One is the easy, fun way that is very accessible for younger players, while the other one is the completionist approach, where unlockable S-rank levels and challenges are present. A play score of 8.6. Rank 6 is Runbo, 
a solid contender for the best party game. Runbow uses a unique style of gameplay that makes use of colors as its primary game mechanic. Same color tiles disappear when swiped by the big running color. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself fighting both the level and your friend. And in rare occasions, you all actually try to cooperate to finish it together. Oh, and did I mention the many Nintendo costumes that your avatar can wear? A play score of 8.75. Fifth place is Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. A pleasant surprise to gamers, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse does not only feel new, but is also very polished. This is an indie game that delivered well, and there really aren't that much bad things to nitpick. Great improvement from the previous version, smooth animation at 60 frames per second, and tons of skills and items to collect. It has a play score of 8.82. Fourth is Shovel Knight. The who's who of retro gaming, getting inspiration from various Nintendo classics like Mario's world map design, Zelda's town exploration and upgrading, DuckTales' combat, and Mega Man's boss fights. Even with all these familiar gameplay styles, Shovel Knight can stand on its own merit. This may be due to its clever combination of all these awesome gaming elements. A game definitely worth trying out, a play score of 9.18. Third is Rayman Legends. This is among the most beautiful looking platformers I've played. A true legend. Rayman Legends is almost perfect in every way in terms of platforming. Smart and diverse level designs, cool character models, epic bosses, hidden stages, and a chaotic but fun local multiplayer. The only thing I can ask from it is, where's the online co-op? Rayman Legends gets a play score of 9.23. Second best is Super Mario Maker, a game for creators and hardcore gamers alike. Its motto, imagination is your only limit, definitely hits that mark. The amount of mix and matches that you can create in this game is boundless. You can either make a stage so easy, even infants can play it, or spend hours to create masterful stages that are near impossible to finish. It's all up to you. A play score of 9.27. Stay tuned for the runners up right after we reveal the number one. And the best is Super Mario 3D World. It's Mario in a cat suit. Who in their right mind wouldn't find that even a little bit creepy? Uh, cute. A game filled with tons of Super Mario platforming ideas that even when playing solo, it's still above what you expected it to be. However, if you have friends, the real fun is playing with them in multiplayer. Fighting for first place for that coveted crown, even though it has no advantage whatsoever, is always better than crippling loneliness. A play score of 9.45. And here are the runners up. Your game not on the list? Leave a comment below and we'll tell you its play score. Wanna know the play score of newly released video games on PC, console, and mobile? Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram.